Hello students, welcome to video lesson 3.8. Um, in this video, we're gonna be talking, uh, wrapping up our discussion of triangles. This is the end of chapter three for us. Um, and we're gonna talk about a couple of special properties of triangles and different relationships um, that we know about sides and angles of triangles. Um, yeah, both of them revolve around inequalities. So this section is entitled Inequalities in Triangles. So I have here triangle ABC, and I've labeled the side lengths of triangle ABC, 7, 12, and 15. And the first uh, property or piece of information that we're going to talk about in this video is, is the idea that any two sides of a triangle add to more than the third side of that triangle. Okay, and that is true all the time, every time, no matter what. Any two sides of a triangle always have to add up to be more than the third side. Okay, so for example, if I were to take segment AB and I were to add segment uh, BC. Okay, that needs to be greater than segment. Well, let's see which one have I not used. AB is seven, BC is fifteen. So that must be bigger than AC, that third side. Is that true in this case? Uh, yes, because seven plus fifteen is bigger than twelve. Right, and we can do this again. We can just rearrange our sides and we can write another inequality that says, let's say AC plus BC has to be greater than AB. And again, that's true in this case as well. AC is 12, BC is 15. Those two added together is certainly bigger than AB, which is seven. Right, so again, we would say AC is 12, BC is 15. If I add those together, it's certainly bigger than seven, okay? And then finally, uh, we could do a third one. We could say, let's see, which one have we not done yet? We could do AC plus AB has to be bigger than BC, okay? And this is the one that uh, really actually matters for us, and I'll point out why here in just a second. Um, but in this case, what we say here, AC, I guess I could have left the 12 there. Um, AC is 12, AB is 7. AC is 12, AB is 7. Those two added together are bigger than 15. Okay, but recognize that this one was not so trivial. Okay, the other two that I, uh, that I wrote up here for you were obvious because one of the pieces on the left-hand side that was being added together was already bigger than the one on the right hand side, right? In this case, 15 is already bigger than 12. So of course, if I add seven to it, it's still bigger than 12, right? But this one is not, is not that way. This one, we actually have to do a little bit of math to check. I mean, obviously 12 plus seven isn't very difficult, but 12 plus seven, we do have to check and make sure, is that bigger than 15? Okay, because if it's not, then we have uh, some issues with our triangle, okay? So uh, the first thing that I'm gonna ask you to do in your homework is to just write things like this. Okay, you're gonna have to write this plus this is bigger than this, and this plus this is bigger than that. Uh, make sure that you note, most of the time they, they will tell you what they want on the right-hand side. You gotta figure out which two did they not list and add those together, okay? But we can also use this whole idea that any two sides of a triangle add to more than the third side to double check and make sure that side lengths given to us for a triangle actually make sense in that context, okay? So for example, if I gave you the side lengths five, eight, and nine, could these be the side lengths of a triangle? Well, the answer is yes, if they fit what we just talked about, that any two of these numbers added together is bigger than the third one. Now, the only one that we really have to check Okay, the only thing we have to check is when I add the two smaller ones together, is that bigger than the biggest one? Okay, because obviously if I did nine plus eight, 
is that going to be bigger than five? Well, yeah, because nine plus eight, they're both already bigger than five. So when I add them together, of course, this is not necessary to do. It certainly has to work, but it's always going to work, right? The only thing we have to check in this case is when I add five plus eight, do I get a number that's bigger than nine? Okay, five plus eight bigger than nine. In this case, yeah, 13. 13 is bigger than nine. So we would say yes. These three side lengths can be the sides of a triangle. Okay. On the contrary, if I gave you uh, if I gave you these three sides, let's say uh, 10 and 23 and uh, 38. Can those three side lengths be the side lengths of a triangle? Well, again, if we check the smaller two and we did 10 plus 23, is that answer bigger than 38? The answer is no, it's not because this is 33 and 33 is not bigger than 38. So we would have to say no, these three side lengths cannot be the sides of a triangle, okay? And here's basically what that would look like, you guys. I would have a 38 side, I would have a 23 side, okay? And then I would have a 10 side that doesn't quite reach back to where it's supposed to get to. Okay, so this would be my 38, this would be my 23, and then this would be my 10, and it doesn't actually match up, okay? Um, so, we can use, like I said, this idea that any two sides of a triangle have to add up to more than the third side to check and see, hmm, can these be the side lengths of a triangle? Also, let me point out that if I had said 10, 23, and 33, it would still be no, right? Because 33 is not bigger than 33. So this does not say bigger than or equal to, right? It says strictly bigger than. So this is still a no. If they are equal to each other, the answer is no. Okay, and in that case, you'd actually have um, side links that would, anyway, doesn't matter. It has to be greater than not just equal to. Okay. All right. So that's the first piece of information in this section. The second piece of information is uh, about the side lengths of a triangle, but also about the angles in a triangle. Okay. And here's what it says. It says that a bigger side length is always across from a bigger angle. Okay. A bigger side length is always across from a bigger angle. And what we mean by that is if you have in, in your triangle, uh, this triangle, for example, if we have the following measures in terms of degrees, if this one down here is 28 degrees and this one over here is uh, 60, five degrees, and then this one up here would have to be 80, 93, 87 degrees. Okay, if I have these three angle measures, A, B, C, if I were to go across from these angles, okay, so across from the 87 degree angle would be B, C, across from the 65 degree angle would be A, C, and then across from the 28 degree angle, would be AB. Okay, if I went across from those, a, the bigger angle is always across from a longer side. Okay, bigger angle, longer side. So if I were being asked to compare, for example, um, side length AC to side length AB, which one would be bigger? Well, I can answer that by simply knowing what are the measures of the angles across from these side lengths and which of those is bigger. Okay, so for AC, this side here, the angle across from it is 65 degrees. For AB, the side across from it is 28 degrees. So AC has to be bigger than AB because this angle across from AC is bigger than the angle across from AB, okay? So longer angle, sorry, 
Longer side, bigger angle, they're always across from each other in that way, okay? So of these three side lengths, which of the following is the biggest? Or sorry, which of the side lengths is the biggest? Well, the side length that's the biggest is this side here, right? BC is the biggest side length because it is across from the biggest angle. So 87 degrees is the largest angle in my triangle. So the side across from that has to be the longest side. The biggest angle goes with the longest side, shortest angle with the shortest side. It's always across the triangle, okay? So you're asked to do uh, some identifying of what is across, like what side length is across from this angle. Make sure that you just go all the way across the triangle, okay? Not either of the two sides that meet at that angle, but the one all the way across, okay? And then we can order things from small to big or big to small based on the angles or potentially based on the side lengths, right? If I, for example, had, uh, if I had this triangle here and I knew this side length was four, this side length was five, and this side length was eight, we should be able to identify where is the biggest angle. I mean, in this particular picture, it's sort of obvious. This would be the biggest angle, cross from the biggest side. Where's the smallest angle? Well, the smallest angle has to be across from the smallest side. The smallest side is four. Across from that would be over there. So this would be the smallest angle. Okay, so if you know the side lengths, you can order the angles. If you know the angles, you can order the side lengths. All right? If you have questions about either of these two pieces of information or how they then lead us to some inequalities about side lengths or angles in a triangle, please reach out to me at some point. Uh, email, phone call, Zoom office hours are all available. Uh, otherwise, that's all I have for you, and we'll talk to you soon.